Well, hello, and welcome back to another edition of The Rock Goddess Reacts. I am your hostess with the mostess, the crazy rock goddess, Saw Dyer, from Rock Rage Radio, right back here with you to react to some more amazing videos. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, I have so many requests. So, this is a request. Um, I have reacted to um, another song from this band a while ago. A while ago, it seems like. I don't even know how long ago. Um, but it is a very another very cool female-fronted band. And so we are going to check them out together. Uh, the band is called Aventure C. I hope that's right. I don't know. I think I had somebody break it down for me the last time, but I'll be damned if I remember. Anyway, I'm just phonetically like looking at it going, Aventure C? Okay. Anyway, the song is called Spawn Awakening. This was a request from a couple of people. And so we're going to react to it together because I did say a long time ago when I reacted to the first one that I would definitely do more in the future. And then, holy crap, things have been crazy. Lots of new music coming out. Lots of cool things that you guys have all requested. And so we're kind of trying to take them in order as much as we can. But I have gotten a lot of requests for this band again. And so um, we're going to check it out together. You, me, and everyone. So... First of all, let's plug in the ear holes. You know how this rolls. Plug in the ear holes. Put in the ear. There we go. Put in the ear. It's always helpful. Oops. Shit. Going backwards. Unmute that. Yeah. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> I love when it just does its own goddamn thing. So much fun. All right. All right. So, um, I probably said that I would, I'm interested to see uh, them play live. Like, her cleans are fabulous. I love her cleans. She has a very pretty voice. Um, and the screams are really good. Like, I have zero... I, I don't have any issues with that. First of all, their songs seem like they're super long. Like, six-minute songs and shit, man. Nobody... Anyway, that's fine. Um, but, like, I saw that they were out on tour, so I would be interested uh, when they go back out on tour to, like, definitely check them out live. Um, because I'm interested to see how good those cleans and screams are live. Um, it's really hard to pull off cleans and screams live. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like in the same song and stuff, it takes a special kind. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, it takes a special kind of talent to be able to do, you know, growls and screams and shit really well. So um, props to her for, you know, those are crazy growls, crazy growls, crazy growls. And her cleans are fabulous. And I dig it. Um, I dig it. Good song. Very cool song. Um, I believe they're out of Seattle because I looked them up last time I reacted to their thing. And so definitely Seattle or Oregon. I probably was right the first time. Um, but either way, um, I think they're cool. Uh, I look forward to seeing what they do as far as other stuff. I, I would be interested to see. Um, I don't know. I'm just interested to see what they do more of. Um, and her, like I said, the, the screams are fabulous. The cleans are fabulous. Uh, the music is really, really good. The songs are a bit long for my taste. Like, the reality is, is um, try to make it in the music business with six-minute songs um, would be really hard because people don't have the attention span for six-minute songs. Live, sure. Um, recorded, not so much. Just, you know, the reality of things. Just the reality of things. And it's kind of always been that way. There's a like, the occasional exception to the rule, um, you know, Bohemian Rhapsody and stuff like that are the occasional exception to the rule. But normally the good rule of thumb is four minutes or so. Should be good. Six minutes, overdoing it. But I dug it. I dug it. I think it's cool. Um, I know uh, I know that I reached out to the band before um, to get their music, and so I will do this again if you guys dug that song. Make sure that you request it with me, The Rock Gods on Rock Rage Radio. I am on weekdays at noon to 3 Eastern time in the United States. Uh, RockRageRadio.com is the simplest way to do it. Or you can go to the Google Play Store or the Apple Store and uh, download the app. It is free. Uh, you can yell at Alexa, tell her to turn on Rock Rage Radio, and she will absolutely do it. Uh, and you can also check us out on TuneIn, which is always very cool as well. So... Definitely do all of those cool things. If you dug any of those songs, I run a top 25 every week. Um, it starts on Tuesday, ends on Saturday. It is super easy to find. All of my socials are always linked in the description box below, as well as the main socials, the original songs, and all the rest of that. So, so that everything is super easy for you guys to find. Um, yeah. Like and subscribe below. It helps all these videos travel further. You can share it as well. That's always super helpful. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I dug the song. The song's cool. Thank you for the request. Um, I'm sure I will probably in the future do more songs from this band um, because I think they're super interesting. Um, I think they're super interesting. Uh, it's not an all-female band, but it is a female-fronted band. So, you know, props where it's due. It's a little hard for women to make it in this business, and so I will give props to any girl, especially the ones that can, like, 
do all the screens and the cleans and all that stuff all really, really well. So uh, well done. Great job from this band. Um, I will, like I said, make sure to link all of their socials in the description box so that you can check them out. Um, find out where they happen to be playing live. Go see a live show. Um, I guarantee you if they come to my anywhere near I, where I am, I will be going to see them play live because I am super interested to see uh, how they sound live. Um, to me, that's like really the defining the defining thing for me. Like it's all well and good to be able to, any band, not just this band, but any band, it's all well and good to be able to um, get a good recorded product out there. But it's a whole nother thing to be able to transfer that to a live show. And so I'm interested to see how good they are live. I heard the last time I posted a video from this band that I definitely needed to go check them out live. And so I'm assuming that it's a super, it's a really good live show. So I will uh, let you know when I get a chance to go see them play live. But I'm linking all of their socials in the description box below so that you guys can find them. See if they happen to be playing anywhere near where you are. It looks as though most of everything is opening back up. So hopefully we'll have far less cancellations of shows and tours and things. Uh, from now on, let's fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we're done with all of the bullshit, let's hope. And uh, everything can just go back to normal shows and normal things. I hope. All right. I want you guys to go out to the world go be good humans to other humans. Yes, I say it every time. I do. Because I mean it. It's the hippie in me that tries to tell you guys to just go be good humans to other humans. I will see you guys all the next time on The Rock Guys Reacts.